Yo, my people, just a quick note. I am not an astrologer. This is my personal knowledge from being a Pisces and to give another perspective on the most complex, misunderstood and underestimated sign. This is not to glorify or give people evil ideas. It's for self-awareness and a potential warning to others. Not everyone will have the same views and experiences and there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's get to it. The Cover In the Zodiac, there are two signs that are known for the way they look at another as if they are reading them. One of those signs is Virgo, who is typically known for having judgmental eyes. Virgos are known for being very critical of others and their self, but one thing's for sure, they're going to judge you straight away. The other sign that is known for the way they look at another is Pisces, the opposite to Virgo. Pisces are known for having watery, welcoming, non-judgmental eyes and are known to be accepting of everybody, but if one thing's for sure, they're going to know the real you eventually. There's the Pisces fantasy gaze stare, then the Pisces getting to know you in general stare. Every single person, every single sign has layers to them. Everyone you meet has layers. You yourself has layers, no matter what your sign is. We are all walking books with our own stories that are still being written every single day. The cover of your book will have several changes throughout your life, so to be judged by your cover will not give another person the full story, but Virgos take this approach automatically. They can't help it. You could be 45 years old. Your book cover at present is you living back at home with your parents. No kids and looking like life isn't treating you well. A Virgo will see your cover and judge your whole life on the current cover now and think they know you, when all they really know is how they perceive you, not how you actually are. Whereas a Pisces wants to read the pages of everybody's book they meet. They want to know who is driving the body of yours. What type of spirit are you? Pisces doesn't care one bit about the cover knowing it will keep changing. So where a Virgo will judge you under now, and not even read your book if you don't seem interesting to them, a Pisces will open your book and read from the beginning, then discover you used to have a high paying job, but developed a non-visible disability, so now you can't work and that's why you're back home with your parents, and also you did actually have a kid, but they sadly passed at a young age, hypothetically speaking. Like all these things is what a Pisces will learn about you and wants to learn about you, things you will not learn from the cover alone. So this is where the Pisces dreamy eyes will be used as a key to your diary. Now, not everyone wants to be read. We can't hide our book covers. Our covers are on display anytime we're out in public, but some things inside your actual book may be embarrassing. Some things may be only for your eyes only, but you see, every Pisces you meet is on a mission. Pisces doesn't just want to know people, it's their duty to. Pisces is a karmic sign dealing with their own karma and others. And Pisces are protectors at this stage. They look out for who needs looking out for. It's also a sign of secrecy. Not only having their own secrets, but uncovering others. It's damn near impossible to keep a secret around a Pisces who is fixated on you, who is giving you a listening ear, because before you know it, your secrets will start flowing out your mouth like water. So while Virgo's eyes are visually scanning you in 4K as if they can tell what cream you put on your face 4 weeks ago and appears as harsh as a judge's hammer, Pisces eyes are like a secret sparkling pond glistening between rocky mountains that appears as delicate as a key to your diary. The flip side to this is, sometimes books can be read by their cover. If you see someone walking down the street with a bally on their face and their hand in their waist, Virgo's approach to judge and avoid will be correct. But some Pisces will come across this guy and want to sit down with him and understand why he's walking around like that and can find out the hard way, a fatal way. There are literally some Pisces that are gullible like that and believe there's good in everyone, but that's when they're in an immature or delusional state, so it's dangerous for them. A Pisces and a Virgo on the same page is like police stopping a suspect. The police sees someone suspicious and judges them, that's Virgo. The police then gets talking to them to get a vibe and then searches them etc. With being thrown in prison as the end result, that's Pisces. Both Virgo and Pisces are signs of service, but a Virgo's service can be self-serving. 
Like, a Virgo can cook their partner dinner every single night. And that may not even be because they want to treat their partner every night. That can be only because their partner can't cook and the Virgo's a master chef. So it's like, I'll do it myself. Energy that you will benefit from by being around them. But Pisces service is nothing to do with the Pisces. It's to do with the collective. It's a real service to protect others. Being a support system to the whole zodiac. Excluding those that are threats to the collective. Yeah, Pisces will understand why you ask in the house, but they're still going to take you to the ocean for it. So while Pisces wants to know everyone anyway, they will also be able to detect targets indirectly. It kills two birds with one stone. You're guilty until proven innocent with Virgo and you're innocent until proven guilty with Pisces because Pisces can afford to give you the opportunity to show them what you're about. That's the difference because Pisces knows they can do something about it if needs be at the end of the day. Now another thing Virgos doesn't have is emotional intelligence. These are typicals I'm speaking about the signs. But I know Virgos who have been extremely shocked that someone has shown them bad face. Then when you get them to explain the whole story, you can see why they offended someone while the Virgo can still not understand why, even after relaying the story. And this is why things like intelligence cannot be measured so loosely because when it comes to technical things and academic things, Virgos are typically the smartest in the zodiac. But when it comes to people and energies, Pisces is. Let's say we have a Pisces and Virgo couple. They've just met their friend's new partner. Now, if there's anything dodgy about this guy's demeanour, the way he carries himself, the way he shakes your hand, the words he uses, the hair sticking out his nose, the plait between his teeth, Virgo is picking up on every single detail. No word of a lie, every single detail. Virgo's eyes will be like ping, 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 ping. picking up everything. And they will judge this guy from that. But if he appears tidy, seems like a nice guy, can't fool him, Virgo will move on and analyse something else. But when it comes to this guy's energy, the look in his eyes, the things he's not saying, the energy behind the words he's using, the energy behind the hand movements he's making, Pisces will be soaking this all in whilst peeling back his layers each minute they are there, scanning his soul. So when Pisces and Virgo gets in the car to drive home afterwards, discussing the events, so what did you think of William? He seems a nice guy, friendly, sensible. I liked his haircut too. Did you notice the way he rubbed the back of his neck whenever Lisa mentioned the kids? Yeah, I noticed the B.O. patch, but we all sweat, right? He also said he has eczema. I think he was itching. No, his energy seemed dodgy when the kids was the topic of discussion and he happened to touch his neck every time. No, I didn't notice that. The way he kept saying, kids are great, kids are great just didn't sit right with me and he kept breaking eye contact. Nah, I think you're reaching a bit. I did notice he didn't like when he asked you to explain your jokes though. What? Yeah, I noticed that puppy dog look thing you do when someone don't laugh at your jokes, then you put your head down quickly and then come back with a cornier joke. Did you see how touchy-feely they were? On a Thursday. Must be nice. What are you trying to say? Why can we only touch each other on Mondays? That's ridiculous. Oh, here we go again. I told you I'm never allowing my sleep schedule to be messed up again because for some reason you love to nudge me in my back at 2am for what do you call it? Makey lovey time? When I've got work in a few hours. Why are you making fun of makey lovey time? Well, you're complaining that I've scheduled a day for intimacy. Who the hell structures sex like that? What do you expect me to do for the rest of the week? Work. Like the rest of us. You think I haven't seen your search history? On the flip side, in another dimension, say this guy has perfect energy, but looks like he's fresh off skid row. He's a good guy. Smells a bit, but I think he's one of those natural guys. But you'll do right by her. No, he won't. Did you see his shoes and his nails? He's going to mess up Lisa's pH balance for sure. What? Nah, he's cool. You won't harm Lisa. No, you don't get it. He's dirty. She needs to protect herself when she sleeps with him. I hope she hasn't already. I'm going to text her and tell her to get him tested beforehand. That's not your business. I didn't see Lisa complaining when he was kissing her neck. And his breath stunk. Smelled like something crawled in his mouth and died. Years ago. Every time he said, she makes me so happy. I seriously felt under attack. That's harsh. It weren't that bad. Makes me so happy. 
putting so much emphasis on the like he was doing it on purpose. Why would he purposely be blowing his breath our way? He's cool, you're always picking fault. You're being obnoxious. What? How you say it again? Obnox obnoxious. It's obnoxious. That's it, yeah, stop it. No, I'm not. You just like him because he laughed at your jokes. Oh look, wait, she texted me back. What you sent it? What did she say? She said, that's very horrible of me and he saw the message. You see, I told you, mind your business. We're on our last friendship couple, you know. I've said in another video, Pisces judges you the same way Virgo does, but does it behind the scenes. But what I meant was, Pisces comes to an accurate conclusion of you eventually behind the scenes. Judgmental is one of those blanket words. I mean, every single one of us judges people subconsciously, right? But Virgos take it to the next level where they actually run with that judgement of you, which isn't right in some instances. You know that first impression is last impression statement? That's Virgos. So with saying that, when you break down typical Pisces traits and understand a Pisces, it's easy to connect the dots like this. So Pisces are known as non-judgmental and Pisces are known as great listeners. That's step one. Pisces are then either known as loving and attentive or known for ghosting and or being evil. That's step two. And this can sound like I'm not making Pisces responsible for bad traits they can have towards others, but this is literally the pattern. This is the experience you will have with Pisces. So what we can see happens is, Pisces takes time to get to know you, the real you, then from there is what type of Pisces you get afterwards. Pisces isn't a sign about itself, it's all about the rest. So Pisces isn't initially judgmental, but they will eventually sum you up. Even when they first meet you, they will scan you and pick up as much info as possible, but it's to understand you, not to pick fault. Whereas Virgos will pick fault quickly, but they do the same thing with their own selves, so it's not exactly like they think they're better than others but I think they strive for perfection so much because deep down, they know they aren't perfect, so they quickly find things that isn't perfect in others as comfort. We all know there's no such thing as perfect, but Virgos don't until they do, so that's why their initial views are pessimistic whilst Pisces are optimistic. Pisces doesn't scan people, hoping they are bad, so they can act on them like a police officer with a chip on their shoulder. They are hoping the person's soul is good so they can connect with theirs and protect it. The eyes are the windows to the soul. While Virgos look at your eyes and potentially not dive in, Pisces climbs through your window to read your book no matter what you look like. The Chapters As a Pisces, I admittedly used to believe every single person has a colourful imagination. Like when you read a book for example and are seeing the story play out in your head from the words you are reading, which is how movies are made from books. I thought everyone was like this. I think the example was, picture an apple in your head, red, green, whatever. Some people cannot see an apple in their head, like create that image in their mind. So I got to realise, not everyone imagines the story when they're reading it. Some are just reading the words and understanding the story. They aren't seeing no images in their head alongside it, just making sense of what they are ingesting. It's so weird to wrap my head around not being able to visually see in your head, but that's the beauty of life. Everyone's different. This isn't to say Virgos isn't imaginative. They are one of the most creative signs due to being focused on details and perfecting, but this description is what describes how both signs perceive things differently. Virgos will analyse the words and make sense of the message the author is conveying, whilst Pisces is seeing the picture the author's words are painting. Think of two people looking at a giant art piece in a museum. Virgo is up close to it seeing the direction of the brushstrokes, seeing the errors that got painted over, etc. Whilst Pisces is standing back and looking at how all those aspects came together to see the bigger picture. This is the difference between Mercury and Jupiter. One's a small planet and the other is gargantuan. Pisces don't care if the painter made a mistake, painting the leaves of a small tree in the top left corner all brown, whilst Virgo will notice it before they even get closer to further inspect it. 
So this is how Virgos typically don't get to appreciate things for what they are. The real beauty in imperfections, whereas Pisces accepts the bigger picture, so gets to see the beauty in it. But then also can dive in if something seems off. The chapters of all our books is everything. It's who we are. It's where we come from and who and where we are today. Every single person around a Pisces has their book opened around that Pisces, whether they know it or not. Many open diaries are on a Pisces bed, which is how Pisces knows everyone's secrets. But many people around a Virgo has their books closed because they don't want Virgo further judging them. Once Pisces is in your book turning your pages, they will be understanding your path and what made you the person you are today, but also understanding your spirit author that's been writing your book. The painter in Pisces' head paints these accurate paintings of people once they get to know you. So even though if a Pisces is scrolling through and everything seems colourful and like you've had a wonderful life so far and you're innocent, if the painter shows Pisces a spot in the canvas where it hasn't been painted, i.e. a page is missing, that's what will make Pisces reread you. On the second read, they may discover a small piece of paper of what remains from a page you ripped out. This is where Pisces will use serious empathy on you. Albert Einstein once said, Empathy is patiently and sincerely seeing the world through the other person's eyes. It is not learned in school. It is cultivated over a lifetime. Pisces is the sign of the collective mind, dealing with this person and that person and their own self. Good thoughts, bad thoughts, this energy, that energy, the whole lot. They don't have time or the energy to deep scan every single person or have empathy turned on 24-7. It's draining. So they will read through your book once with the assistance of their painter, their imagination. If an error pops up, this is where you'll find Pisces spending extra time with you, wanting to be around you more. You think they're down or upset or just want company when they're spiritually pulling your soul out of you to take a real good look at it. Because nobody rips out a page out of their book for no reason. What are you hiding from your own self? You don't even know the Pisces is in your diary, so it's not like you're hiding it from the Pisces, you're hiding it from yourself. So what is it? And I'm gonna find out cause when I dream I tend to travel when I see the unseen I'll take my time because I ain't the one to deem It'll be revealed as we're going down a stream On a boat so to so one to one In reality or dreams either one But what is guaranteed when it is done Is that your secrets will leave from your tongue So believe me Once Pisces is in this lock on mode with you It's literally like a shark's fin coming towards you Two sharks circling you if that missing page or even a missing chapter is an ex-partner, an absent parent, a 187, Pisces will eventually know because you will not leave their eyesight until they've found out. It's a part of their job. Pisces are the ones that slips away. Letting you slip away could be detrimental to not only the Pisces but to others and even yourself if you need a form of healing. Harriet Tubman once said, Never wound a snake. Kill it. And that is exactly what Pisces does when they spot one. This is all initially done for the good, but if Pisces finds out about an unforgivable secret, they will deal with you accordingly. You see what happens when Fadishbals get put in prison and their cellmate ends up killing them. This is Pisces in life as a whole. Get around a Pisces with some hidden fuckish and see how they deal with you. You can't keep secrets around the secret keeper. And ironically, how a Pisces deals with you will be kept a secret from the world. That will be between you and the Pisces and the universal ocean. If the walls could talk, they'll tell you about a Virgo. If the ocean could talk, they'll tell you about a Pisces. Now, if a Virgo does open your book, say they liked what the cover showed them and they want to get to know you, what they will do is look for something else to critique inside the book. They can't help it. They pick up on the smallest things. Virgos are the builders and fixers of the zodiac. The local handyman or woman. Reliable, does a perfect job, great reviews, efficient, on time, respectable, yada yada. All that at face value. But same time, Virgo is a mutable sign, which means they can adapt to you. And if you can adapt to someone, that also means you can hide yourself. 
So they are tricky people to deal with and they will fool you no doubt. The same way Pisces, Gemini and Sagittarius can, the other three mutable signs. We need to also remember, not everyone is blessed with the ability to read others, like Pisces, Virgo and a few others. So as a Virgo flicks through your book, they will notice an error, because everyone's book has errors. But they will notice it and try to fix it. Which sounds good at first, but this is one of their dark sides. They will physically try to fix you. Whether you want to be fixed or not. The same way they will help you whether you asked for help or not. Have you ever heard that song Unpretty by TLC? Nice song with a good message. And if so, have you seen the music video? If not, check it out. But basically, in their music video, they show a guy who is organising for their partner to get breast surgery. The partner's scared and feels unpretty because of this. But all that partner is focused on is her getting bigger melons for his own benefit. This video and song represents a dark-sided Virgo. Listen, I love big melons like the next man. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love them. But forcing someone to do something for your own benefit only is the least Piscean thing ever. So it will be the most Virgo thing ever if they channel it. They do not have the emotional intelligence or awareness to see that. Even though the partner is agreeing to get this surgery done to herself for you, she is also scared and doesn't really want it. But sometimes I think Virgos are aware and just don't care. They're self-serving. Not as selfish as Aries, but worse in terms of pushing their needs onto others. Whereas Aries will do their own thing for them. Not to harm anyone else typically. You can just get caught in the crossfire of an Aries selfishness, basically. The Virgo archetype in that TLC video is basically telling the partner, you're not perfect yet, but soon you will be. Soon this rip in one of your pages that wasn't even a personal problem for you in the first place will be fixed. So this same way is how a Virgo can physically break you down. When they are healthy, they will normally be hitting the gym hard or be the brainiac at something or even both. They've got that Mercury dual energy thing going on that Gemini. But they can also make you have a poor image of yourself, pick out your insecurities and give you insecurities and attempt to fix them. Or they can physically damage your image with their physical strength and give you insecurities and leave you in a non-fixable way for good. They are not to be taken lightly at all. If a partner says, babe, I don't like my chin. Where a Pisces will kiss your chin and say you're beautiful, even if the reality is your chin's a little big. Pisces will love you and your big ass chin, but a Virgo will tactlessly respond, oh, they've got surgery for that. Don't worry, I saw this girl with literally Glenn Quagmire's jaw and after surgery, she had the most perfectly sculpted face I've ever seen. They are similar to Sagittarius, but Sag is more of a just being honest than leaving you be. Yeah, your chin's quite big. Must take a century for drink that leaks out your mouth to leave your face. And if you don't take yourself too seriously, you will laugh at Sag's criticism and throw something back. But Virgo isn't joking at all with you. They will be critical with a serious solution. Where a partner could say, oh, I have nothing to wear. They all look ugly on me. Even though they have a wardrobe full of nice clothes, a Pisces will say, you look good in anything you wear to comfort their feelings and give them a confidence boost. Whereas a Virgo will say, well, we can go shopping and buy a new outfit, which will validate their partner's negative feelings with a practical solution. A sign of such intellect and talent when it comes to practical matters is, excuse my French, un sensé, when it comes to another's emotions. And this is why Virgos are like the most hated sign in terms of their dark side. Or should I say, a sign where people have many, many bad experiences with them. Their reputation is as bad as Gemini's or even worse. And it's no surprise they are both ruled by Mercury, the planet of chaos, not just communication. Even Virgos who are light-sided are seen as dry and boring. They don't really catch a break. Gemini can fuck you over, but at least you will have a good time in the process. Listen, I'm a Pisces. Our reputation isn't good either, but I'm trying to break these other nutters down too. 
So Virgos can do this either meaning to or not meaning to. But when they mean to hurt you, if you are not a strong person mentally or physically, then you are finished. They will break you. They can control you. And if you are seen as unfixable, they can break you even more. Virgo is the sixth house. The house of daily routines, diets, workouts, intimacy day only on Mondays, all that. So say you're in the gym with a Virgo, you'll find many of them in there. And say you're semi-new to the gym, but you've got fucked up form on the bench press. A Virgo can spot you and come over and help you. Hey man, your form's a little off. If you pin your shoulders and arch your back a little, you'll be able to lift even more weight. Keep your feet flat on the ground too and don't lock out at the top. That's solid advice. Typical Virgo, they know what they're talking about and are assisting you. You can see they're jacked, so it isn't just bro science. But if you don't understand gym talk, you're going to mess up getting it right. So say you say to the Virgo, Sorry bro, I don't understand. Can you do a few reps and show me? The Virgo will be like, sure. So the Virgo will show you a perfect bench press, exactly how they described it. Then it's your turn and you still don't do it right. Like you haven't listened or paid attention at all. Watch how the Virgo will start to turn. If you want to see a Virgo angry, keep asking them to repeat something or show you something they've already told or showed you how to do. Waste a Virgo's time and see what happens to you. Whereas time don't exist to a Pisces, time is everything to a Virgo. Everything in their life has to be structured to keep the chaos inside controlled. But that helpful face they put on will start to disappear the more you don't get it. So the Virgo may walk away and think you're not listening, but say you call them back now. Hey, sorry, man, I think I might get it now. Can you spot me? I want to try a larger weight. Why? Perfect the form at the lower weight first so you aren't struggling when you move up. No, you said I can lift more weight your way and I've been stuck at this weight for like a month now so I want to break this plateau. Okay. So the Virgo helps you change the weight and spots you. You lift the weight off the bar with the Virgo's assistance and the Virgo sees you still haven't listened. Your back's still flat, your form's fucked up. So they just let go of the bar, letting it slam down on you. The Virgo will walk off before it even lands, not even caring what the result will be. 187 or severe injury. You're already broken. I tried to fix you. It didn't work. Fuck off. Even if they hear you oh, behind them, they won't turn back. They'll walk off. Damage is done. Now you see those serial lists where they say it's from the FBI, etc. And the mutable signs will be at the top. I think them lists are bullshit, but... When it comes to mutable signs, it's not a lie. But if Pisces is not at the top, then it will be Virgo for this reason. When they realise they can't fix something or perfect something, that darkness behind their quiet reserved demeanour rears its head. It's funny how Virgos are depicted as dainty virgins because when they turn, they rack up bodies. Step in a Virgo's metaphysical gym on the wrong day with the wrong attitude and you aren't leaving that place alive. They will leave you shredded. They will leave you cutting. They will cause you weight loss. They will make you burn calories. If you escape and they chase you, you will know about bulking when a bulky weight lands on your throat. A Virgo can be doing surgery on you and leave the surgery halfway through when they realise they can't fix it. Maybe you got a spiritual problem but they still attempted to do surgery on you. They will leave you on that bed with your body still open and abandon you if they just think fuck it. This is all metaphorically speaking by the way, but can actually happen with Virgos in real life. They will fuck you up. This is the sign of the human body. Funny thing is, many of my favourite entertainers more than any other sign are Virgos. Because when they perfect that craft, it's crazy. And many of my favourite music artists are Geminis. I low-key mess with the mercurial energy deep down. I respect it when it's healthy. There's a film I watched a few years back that had Virgo energy all over it. It's called The Perfection. Check it out. I think it sums up the energy perfectly, the chaotic side of it. Virgo is ruled by Mercury, that fast little chaotic planet which you will see more apparent in Geminis. The other sign it rules. But Virgos are not only ruled by Mercury, but Mercury is also exalted in Virgo too. What kind of fuckery is that? No other sign is like that. 
It's like chaos on top of chaos. So when you see them acting all prim and proper, who oh, don't crease my shirt? Who oh, don't touch my hair? You are looking at controlled chaos, but the chaos is there to be released. They are the true masterminds when fully developed. So that Pisces is here opening everyone's books. What does Pisces see when they open a Virgo's book? What makes a Virgo like this? Not everyone sees the zodiac as progressive lessons of the soul, but when you see that Leo was before Virgo and Libra is after, you can find a way of making sense. That is not a nice sandwich to be in, initially. So say Leo is the superstar, the supermodel. When you get to Virgo, it's like a supermodel who is aging. They used to be fun, they used to be a star, now they're getting old, but they aren't accepting it. So as they look in the mirror, they start to see changes, the grey hairs, the wrinkles. They start analysing their self. They look at old videos and pictures of their self and notice they don't move or look like how they used to. So they become insecure with their self. They can be born into that stage of Virgo with that mindset. A natural insecurity, a natural need to be perfect with that cabinet full of anti-aging cream. When they can just be a 12 year old child chilling. Not only are they insecure, they start to look at others to find comfort in others imperfections and find light in others perceived perfections. So the Virgo will start to try and fix their self. They may hit the gym, start to clean up their diet. It will start there and it will help. But you can't reverse aging like that. We all age. So when they see more wrinkles coming, etc., they will start to look to the knife. Botox, tucks and snips. They will look to fixing their self and they will find comfort in trying to fix others. Virgos are like professional surgeons who have surgery done on their self too. So by the end, they create like the perfect human, the perfect individual physically, whilst mentally accepting their imperfections and fully understanding the human body. When it comes to the human body, the shell, they master it and are the most talented with their hands and their brain. Virgo rules the digestive system and the gut is considered the second brain in the human body and with Aries ruling the head, you can make sense of it all. They literally create like the perfect individual human in terms of mind and the body where they end up only looking in the mirror at that genius. They don't need to look at anyone else to find any physical imperfections in anyone at the end. So that Pisces is the full spirit on one end, Virgo is the full human on the other. Ever heard of that saying, hard work beats talent, when talent don't work hard? That's Virgos. Leos are the talent, then Virgos are the, I still got it, I ain't retiring yet, watch me go harder than ever before. Then they overcompensate, even when they can already be at a high level, and that's why so many Virgos are talented as hell, but same time, Many Virgos won't even realise how great they are. What will seem like 10 out of 10 to us will be like 7, 8 out of 10 to them. They will see where they can improve more and that can be a never ending spiral but when they realise it and embrace it, that's superhuman right there. You can't get any more human than a Virgo, if that makes sense. Virgos are known as the servant but they are self-serving, as I've said. So when you get to Libra now, you fully know about yourself on a human level, but it's almost like a superficial place. It's a place of only beauty, BBLs, implants, etc. And now focusing on another person, relating to another person. And the sense of self is very low, where they rely on another to find their self again. It's like a little brain damage goes on in transition. Libras are known as the best one-to-one -one communicators because they come from a place of completely known about humans at the end of Virgo, but having to find their self again. You can't communicate with others better than the rest if you haven't mastered your own language before. That's food for thought, and that's where Virgo ends and Libra begins. That's where Libras are coming from, mixed with their new interest in knowing another, having Venus there, and finding their self again through another, when they didn't even fully know their self deep down, soul-wise, in the first place. Then you get to Scorpio after Libra where it's like, I'm back bitch and I got a knife. There's definitely a shallowness when you get to Libra. It's love but very light aesthetics type love. And that they lack emotional intelligence coming from Virgo 
they master social intelligence. They know people and they know about people. So they lock in on that and through that, they start learning stuff about their self through others. I've probably made that sound more complicated than it needs to be. Then Scorpio gets deep where they start exploring the souls and emotions of other people and their own to an extent. They don't look at you like Virgo. They look through you. And by the time you get to Pisces, you secretly know about your own soul and other people's souls. Maybe that's why Virgo and Scorpio have that same M sign, but the tail is in with Virgo and out with Scorpio. The two signs are definitely connected. I don't know the backstory. Cancers being emotional is more about their own emotions, protecting their own feelings. You scratch the surface of emotions and souls for the first time in the fourth house. And the reason they even get there is coming from Gemini being curious, interacting with everybody and everywhere. Then the distraction of fame and the spotlight makes them focus on performing and having fun in the fifth house, Leo. When you get to Scorpio in the eighth, that's the second time emotions and souls becomes a solid focus. Coming from Libra, learning about others on an expert level and emotions on a light level. So you dive in at Scorpio. They start learning about others' emotions whilst trying to figure out their own. Pisces is the third and final time you dive deep into knowing the emotions and souls of others and your own. The full spirit. And you master it all because it's the end of the book. Social intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Spatial intelligence. Musical intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence. Intrapersonal intelligence. All that is in Pisces. So back to Virgo's book. When Pisces sees Virgo fussing about things being just right and perfect all the time, what Pisces sees whilst reading Virgo's book is a messy person, a disorganised person. That's who they naturally are and that's what makes them strive so much to not be like that. You've got Pisces in the 12th house who can look in every other house's doors and you think Pisces is delusional but you see that house opposite Pisces. That's a very scary position to be in until they conquer it. It's chaos. You think Pisces is chaos and Virgos is calm. No, we're chilling over here. Cosmic chaos, but we're chilling over here. It's Virgo where the real madness on earth is going on in terms of the human body. That place after being a star, in the typical sense, it's like a sport player who suffers a serious injury early in their career. It's like, what do I do now? A fall from fame. I've got all this time to do nothing. So the first thing they will start to do is criticise things. They have time to start noticing things. To focus on imperfections because they feel imperfect. They feel broken. In terms of self-importance, the sixth house is the hardest lesson. And I believe in reincarnation. And I also believe the reason September is the most popular month for babies to be born in is because so many fell at that stage in Virgo and keep coming back to complete it. Because it's the last house of the inner self. Either that or that Xmas eggnog makes people randy as hell. And when you lack emotional intelligence with others, you will also lack the awareness of your own emotions within yourself. But Virgos eventually learn to know their self as a person, but not really spiritually. That's why many will become religious seeking an external spiritual connection because they can't find it within their self. The only reason Pisces really understands other people is because they understand their self on the deepest level possible, the spiritual level. So deep that you realise there is no self. One is all and all is one. Pisces reads their own book, studies their own book, reflects on their own chapters, but the difference with Pisces is, all Pisces are born with a library. They've got books from when they was a Virgo themselves, a Libra themselves, so they know about others' books and chapters because they have their own collection, so they can easily relate to the collective. We're going to arrive there early. What are you smiling about? You know what? Fuck it. We're almost there now. I'm going to nail this fucker. Did you know he's on the list? What list? And nail who? This William prick. He used his willy, all right? I printed out all his articles and public records. This guy's a predator. Lisa needs to know. He can't be around those kids. No way. He seemed so nice. Maybe that's why then. Oh, don't go starting trouble in front of me. I told you this guy's energy was off. You didn't tell me nothing. 
If he laughed at your jokes, you wouldn't even be exposing anybody. <sighs> oh, come on, what? You think I'm that shallow? So what are you going to do? I'm going to expose him in front of Lisa. And if he chats shit to me, I'm going to cap him. No, listen, I've told you about this. Stop talking like that. So what, you're going to shoot him in front of me and Lisa with the kids upstairs, yeah? I'll give him the chance to leave peacefully. You haven't even read these papers. This man's sick. If this was 12 years ago, I would have seriously put him in my boot and took him far out. Would not have told anyone shit? We should tell her from now, this is actually serious. Nah, I want to look him in his eyes as I expose him. And God forbid he runs his mouth to me. Hey, give me your hand. Chill, alright? Don't take it too far, please. It's Monday tomorrow. I want to be in bed by nine. And I don't want you in jail again, seriously. Oh, it's Makey Lovey Monday tomorrow. Yes, it's Makey Lovey Monday tomorrow. Is she still not responding to you? No, and I've apologised many times, stupid bitch. Hey, you can't get mad at someone for not accepting your apology. I told you to mind your business. Well, guess what she said to Suzanne? What did she say to Suzanne? That she keeps getting bladder infections. I told you he's dirty. Why are you so bothered about others' hygiene? If Lisa is okay with putting up with that, then that's her business. I swear, things will be different if he didn't laugh at your jokes, you know. You would be on my side. No, things would be different if you stopped worrying about your friend's vid- Oh, now Stink breath fools made me lose my friend. Do you know what? I'll try chat to her. We all know you don't give people time. I'll get her to come round. I don't want to give his nasty self time. Being afraid of him pronouncing words beginning with H, having that shitstorm fly in my face every time I want to see my friend for the rest of my life. No thank you. Have you smelt your breath in the morning? Excuse me? I brush my teeth before bed, you don't. Yeah, and it still has a twang to it in the morning. Everyone's does when your mouth's been closed for eight hours. Lighten up. You just told me my breath stinks. Don't worry, I'll never speak to you in mornings again. You know I'm sensitive about hygiene and just want to be clean and you're making fun of me. <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 look, come here, I'm sorry I was playing. No, no, shh, shh. Your breath smells lovely in the morning. I always kiss you, don't I? Don't I? Come here. I'm a darling, don't cry. Man. <laughs> Babe? Yeah? When did you last wash this top? The book. At the end of the day, and beyond the zodiac, we are all human. Every one of us judges another for one reason or the other, whilst we're being judged ourselves. It's perception. It's how each of us sees things and understands things. It's automatic. You can't help those thoughts. It's a subconscious response. Learned traits over the years through good and bad experiences. Pisces is just who understands this the most when it comes to the zodiac and judging others. Really, all Pisces wants to do is live and let live. I think people think Pisces isn't judgmental because they are too busy in La La Land to notice anything or anyone else around them. But seriously, Pisces are fully tuned into their surroundings and the people and the energies around them. It's almost impossible to not be unless we block it out with external poisons. Again, maybe judgment is the wrong word to use when it comes to Pisces, but when you have that one-on-one -on -one with a Pisces, your soul might as well be on trial. But at least you're treated as innocent until proven guilty with a Pisces than having to prove yourself to someone who's already written you off before you've opened your mouth. Judging a book by its cover is also a reason why Virgo can see their own downfall and be unfamiliar with the beauty in life and just be surrounded by hard and rocky ground. Imagine coming across a pineapple for the first time and it just looks like this prickly unpleasant thing and you just dismiss it thinking it's poisonous. Not knowing, if you peeled back its layers, you'll get to taste that sweet fruit underneath. That pineapple juice. This is what Pisces shows Virgo. To be less judgmental, Time is so important to them practically, so they need to also learn to give people time before making a decision on them. To find a spiritual connection too, because the body alone is not enough, as it's just a shell, and to focus on the bigger picture of their talents. Who cares if you missed that random shot in the game? You're fucking Kobe Bryant. Mr. Clutch. Kobe. And Virgo can show Pisces to sometimes take things at face value. Look after your body, even though you're a spirit, and find some structure in your life. Be disciplined and consistent. Build a foundation first so you have a platform to showcase your talents. 
Let's all try and lead an interesting life because there'll be a day when we look back at our books and the goal is to not have any regrets, just memories. Not just words, but illustrations, memorabilia, bullets with names on them, etc. Because one day, all our authors will stop writing as they go back to the creator of all. Come on in, guys. William's in the living room. Hey, guys. Now listen there, you greasy nah. I know all about you and your willy. Get the fuck out of the house. Whoa. Oh my God, Pisces, what are you doing? Lisa, this guy is sick. Look at this. What's this? Mate, I, ah, don't you say another word. I swear to God. Pisces, why have you brought this? Look, that's him. He's a sick man. You can't be around this or have someone like that around the kids. Look, he done his time. He's a changed man. What? I know about his past. He's been baptised and everything since then. He's not that person anymore. Let me see it, Lisa. Are you for real? What about the kids? You trust him around the kids? I know you're looking out for me, but seriously, he's changed. And I thought you had too. Is that a gun in your waist? Do you want to go jail again? Oh my God. Lisa, are you hearing yourself? I can't believe you, Pisces. You've brought a gun in my house. You know the kids are upstairs. How can you bring that around them? Huh? I think you should- Don't open your mouth, you sick freak. Lisa, this is insane. Don't call my man sick. Who are you? Like you're innocent. And you, Pisces, playing innocent when you've brought a gun in my home. You know what I think of your book? <clears throat> Ow! Why you throw the book at me? Don't throw the book at him. She threw the book at me. Don't you ever in your life throw anything at my man again. Oh, what? Are you threatening me, Virgo? What are you going to do? Write me some instructions. Just get the fuck out of my house. Coming in there judging people, both of you. Get the fuck out about your bringing receipts and guns in my home. Get the fuck out before I call the police. Such a Libra. Hi Pisces, don't put her on the phone. No, I'm alone. Look, sorry for Virgo, you know she says these things, but she has your best interests at heart. Really? Yeah. Who texts their friend? Leave that man girl. He's gonna mess up he's gonna mess up your pH balance and I don't want to smell your fishy pussy again. Whoa, is that what she texted you? Yes, and I'm tired of it, Pisces. She's insensitive and says really hurtful things. She knows how long it took me to get rid of that problem. Well, alright, well, I'm sorry on her behalf. Come on, man, we miss you guys. We want to have fun with you guys. William seems like a great guy for real. You're just saying that because he laughs at your jokes. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit of the reason, but don't tell Virgo that. <laughs> You're so stupid. Okay, get her to call me later. I'll answer and make her apologise again. Cool, no pro- Oh wait Pisces, one last thing and be real with me. Yeah, sure, go on. How often do you shower? Huh? Like sometimes there build up down there, if you don't clean it. I mean, when I was a kid maybe, but no, I shower two times a day, I'm pretty clean. So you never go days without a shower? Nah, do I look like or smell like I do? I know for a fact Virgo would have complained to you if I didn't. No, but William said it's a guy's thing where there's build up and even though it smells apparently, it makes it stronger and... Open up, there's some things for me to see. I've got you swimming in the sea, but I really want to take you to the ocean. You're going to be freed when you let me in to read. Take a look up in my eyes and get lost in them. So shut your ass up, put your seatbelts back on and make sure that I was clear. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly.